In the annals of history, there exist tales of unsung heroes whose bravery and sacrifices have shaped the course of the world's most devastating conflicts. From the shadows of obscurity, these remarkable individuals emerge to become legends of courage and valor. Today, we embark on a journey to discover the extraordinary stories of the World War military heroes you've never heard of. The Polish resistance agent who got himself sent to Auschwitz on purpose. Nazi concentration camps were one of the most hideous and disturbing tragedies to arise out of the Second World War, but few countries were aware of their existence before the Allied liberation in 1945. Fewer still had any idea what atrocities were taking place within their gates, which is exactly why Witold Pilecki, a Polish resistance agent, decided to see the inside for himself. How'd he do it? By getting himself arrested and sent to the worst death camp of them all, Auschwitz. He gathered intelligence inside Auschwitz and sent it to the underground Polish army for two years, enduring brutal conditions and near starvation to detail Nazi execution and interrogation methods. When the Allies continued to put off any aid, some even accused him of exaggerating his reports. According to NPR, he broke out of the camp and escaped. Pilecki continued to gather intelligence throughout the war and didn't let up afterward either, though now it was against a different government, the Soviet regime in Poland. The Middle Eastern soldiers of France's Free Army on the whole, France gets a pretty bad rap when it comes to military valor. Some of the jokes actually ring true when France fell to the Nazi regime during World War II. Gen Charles de Gaulle struggled to gather soldiers who were ready and willing to drive out the Fuhrer's arm. Not exactly the kind of bravery you write home about. This is exactly why a frustrated de Gaulle set his sights outside of France to raise an army, recruiting instead from French colonies in Africa. Arabic, African, and Tahitian volunteers rallied to the French cause, and the French Free Army was born. Amazingly, this ragtag militia, many of whom had never stepped on French soil before, kicked ass in the war against Hitler, winning several battles. So why haven't you heard of them? Sadly, the Allies weren't too thrilled with these guys, and when the Free French Army geared up to liberate Paris, the Allies actually refused to fight with them unwilling to go into battle with dark-skinned foreigners. The real-life Rambo, who beat the U.S. military at its own job. Sylvester Stallone graced us with one of the most iconic military characters ever when he played a man of few words and probable sociopath John Rambo in Rambo First Blood, and then again in Rambo First Blood Part Two, and Rambo Three. Well, you get the drill. Stalem may have jumped the shark with the franchise, but the story of this real-life Rambo will never get old. Richard Marcinko, nicknamed Demo Dick, was a teletype operator who dreamed of transferring to UDT, or Underwater Demolitions Team, a unit that would eventually evolve into the Navy SEALs. When he kept getting rejected, Marcinko decided he would find an alternative way into the unit by clocking some guy in the face. Just as he planned, Marcinko got sent to the UDT as punishment. The Oscar Schindler of Japan As the Nazi regime began tightening its chokehold on Europe, Japanese Consul General Chun Shugihara and his wife Yukiko watched with increasing concern as Lithuanian Jews were persecuted, driven out of their businesses, and forced away to labor camps. Finally, Shudihara decided enough was enough and set out to bring the Jews of Europe onto Japanese soil and out of Hitler's reach. The Japanese government, however, didn't approve of the idea and shut down Chum's request to issue visas for the fleeing Jews. In response, and in true Liam Neeson fashion, Shugihara essentially told them to shove it and began to write the visas by hand. He and his wife ended up writing what some estimate to be around 6,000 visas for Lithuanian Jews, an incredible feat that's even more unbelievable when you compare it to Oscar Schindler's record of 1,200 saved through his work program. The last foreign officials to remain in Kaunas, Lithuania, save for a Dutch consul, Sudhara, and his wife worked round the clock 
issuing close to 300 visas a day and distributing them to the refugees who gather outside of the Japanese consulate gates. The British fought with a sword, longbow, and bagpipes. John Malcolm Thorpe Fleming Churchill, or Mad Jack as he would later be known, may have been the most baddest person to walk the earth. He joined the British military in 1926 at age 20, only to leave shortly after to pursue professional bagpiping and compete in the World Archery Championship in 1939 because why not? But when World War II rolled around, Churchill was more than ready to jump back into the fray and racked up a war record so unbelievable. We're shocked the guy doesn't have his own movie yet. Churchill stormed the beaches of Normandy carrying a Scottish sword, wore his bagpipes in battle, and made many of his kills with the longbow he wore on his back. During a night raid on the Nazi lines, Churchill led his men to capture 136 enemy soldiers, and he himself captured 40-plus Germans at Swart Point. During a different battle on the Nazi-controlled island of Brack, Mad Jack fought until he was the last of his men standing. Then, when he ran out of ammo, he stood his ground, playing his bagpipes on top of a hill, until a grenade knocked him out, and he was captured by the Germans.